Now it is a day after President Gotabaya Rajapaksa imposed state of emergency for the second time in five weeks. Lankan government justified the move. The government on Saturday said that the move is an absolute necessary and it is very much required to tackle the worsening economic meltdown plaguing the island nation. Now in a statement released, the information department defended government's action by saying that the state of emergency is needed to ensure public safety and maintain supply of essential goods and services amid the ongoing crisis. The statement further read that the priority for the government is to manage the shortage of foreign exchange within the shortest possible time so that stability comes in. The statement came as President Gotabaya Rajapaksa faced immense criticism from the opposition and foreign envoys for his decision, which gives security forces power to crack down on peaceful protests. US and European diplomats have urged President Gotabaya to repeal the emergency imposed after a general strike brought the bankrupt country to a halt. U.S. Ambassador to Sri Lanka Julie Chung expressed concern over the government's move and said that Sri Lanka's deepening economic and political turmoil needed long-term solutions, emphasizing that a state of emergency won't help resolve the issues. Meanwhile, U.S. mission in Sri Lanka also called out the Rajapaksa government over its decision to impose emergency, saying that such a move will not help resolve the economic and political crisis. Hundreds of protests, including many Buddhist monks, took to the streets of Colombo on Saturday, a day after the country president imposed a state of emergency. This comes as anti-government protests continue to gain momentum despite government's efforts to quell the public anger. Months of blackouts and acute shortages of food, fuel and medicines have caused widespread suffering across the South Asian island nation, which is witnessing its worst ever economic meltdown. The South Asian nation of 22 million people has struggled to pay for essential imports after a steep drop in foreign exchange reserves. The devaluation in currency along with soaring inflation has made it difficult for the common man in Sri Lanka to purchase even the basic goods. The International Monetary Fund has now said that it will begin a next round of technical discussions with Sri Lanka from May 9th to May 23rd. The discussions, which will be held virtually, will mainly focus on a possible IMF-supported program and IMF financing that can help the island nation revive from the ongoing economic crisis.